Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh here with my second video in my iOS 5 playlist. As you guys remember last time we talked about the notification center and how notifications work on iOS 5. Today we're going to talk about accessing the camera feature from the lock screen. We're going to talk about taking photos with the volume up button, which is a really cool new feature. We're going to talk about the Twitter integration in iOS 5. You can now directly upload text, uh, photos, videos to Twitter straight from iOS 5. And then we're also going to talk about the iMessages app, which is kind of like a messenger app for iOS, very much like BlackBerry has their BlackBerry Messenger. So stay tuned, guys. Let's talk about all these cool new features. Okay, so the first feature I want to show you guys is accessing the camera from the lock screen and obviously we're going to have to turn the phone off here real quick and then we'll access the camera. All you have to do is double tap the home button really quickly and there you can see in the bottom right the camera feature is now available and we'll go ahead and turn the phone here and granted I'm taking a picture of my desk here so it's not very exciting but you get the idea. Uh, if you need to access your camera really quickly you can do so. And now one of my favorite features is you can use the volume up button to take the picture. So just click the volume up button and the picture is taken. You're good to go. Really cool features guys. Um, they've also kind of consolidated some of the options here. You have the grid mode here. You can click options and then you can see turn the grid on or off, turn HDR on and off. So it's just really nice looking app now. Uh, really cool features for the camera app. Next up we have Twitter integration in iOS 5 and in order to set this up we're going to go ahead and go into settings. We're going to click on Twitter and now once you've typed in your password, your account information, you're ready to go. You can now start tweeting directly from iOS 5. So let's go ahead and go into the camera roll here and I have a photo that I took earlier this morning of some cinnamon rolls that I made for my wife's birthday. We'll go ahead and click on that and just like normal we'll click on the arrow there it will give us some options. The newest option obviously being the tweet button there. We'll just click that. And as you guys can see, it'll put the picture in a little folder here. And now you can start typing whatever caption you want for the picture. I'm just going to go ahead and type yum because as we all know, cinnamon rolls are yummy. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and hit send. And now it's posting the photo to Twitter. You can go ahead and check your Twitter account. So let's go ahead and do that now just to make sure everything went through. So we'll go to Twitter, wait for it to refresh here, and as you can see, there I am at the top there. We'll go ahead and click on the picture, and there we have it. There's the cinnamon rolls that I just posted from Twitter. Finally, I want to talk to you guys about the iMessages feature in iOS 5. Let's say you don't have unlimited texting, you have maybe 200 per month. You know you have to watch those because if you use more than what you're allotted, you're going to be overcharged and it's just going to add up really quickly. With iMessages though, you're going to be able to send a message from your iOS device running iOS 5 to another iOS device running iOS 5 absolutely free just over your 3G or Wi-Fi, whatever you choose. Um, so it's just a really cool feature and what I really like about it is that it's not just for iPhones. iPad users and iPod Touch users are going to be able to do so and they've never really had a messaging client without you know, having to jailbreak or download some third-party app. So this is going to be a really cool feature in iOS 5. Let me show you how to set it up and then we'll go into a conversation and show you what it's like. So we go ahead and click on settings here. We click on messages and now you can see we have some options here. You can turn iMessage on or off. But then you also have the send read receipts option. And what that allows you to do is once you've sent a text message or photo message or whatever you did, you can now see once the person has read it so you know that they received it and then they'll go ahead and send one back to you and they can see that you've read it. Uh, so it's just a really cool feature to let you know that your message was delivered to that iOS device. So now let's go ahead and click on the messages app and as you can see we have a typical conversation here. You can see the green bubbles are what I've typed and the white ones are the ones that I've received. Now in iOS 5, it's going to show you your iMessages, and those are going to appear in blue. So all these blue messages you see here are iMessages. These are ones that are sent over 3G or Wi-Fi. They're not charged at all to my account. Um, absolutely free between iOS device to iOS device. So as far as I know, you know, he could have been sending these messages from an iPad, and I'm using my iPhone here, obviously. 
So it's just really cool, really awesome new feature in iOS 5. Thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. I would appreciate it if you would rate, comment, and subscribe and stick to the channel. Again, guys, I got a lot of new videos coming out. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.